I've already done a video tour of Leeds town centre but I don't know it very well and I thought I'd just do a completely different angle on it I've got loads of time I now know the name of this river it's the River Air I haven't even got a clue of the river going through Leeds so uh, let's have a a different slant on Leeds town centre now that I'm, I'm starting to get a feel for it having worked here in the past but it was only at Midland Bank your main branch and then I've had a bit of nightlife here in the past as well 80s and 90s but I've never really walked around Leeds Town Centre to see what's around here and I just want to capture as much of things now for future generations because in my own city Sheffield has been ripped apart now Leeds has been lucky you seem to have kept a lot of your older buildings whereas Sheffield's lost so many of its older buildings especially in the Second World War and also by the council after the war used every excuse to knock it down but this wall art's not going to be here forever So it'll be recorded in the digital world forever. But the reason I've just come to this building is I'm looking at the brickwork on it and we've just had a market tavern that's been knocked down. And a market tavern had this type of brickwork on it just here. This sort of crisscrossing right there. But they knocked it down and that's just more of our heritage gone in Sheffield but luckily Leeds has kept your heritage you've also got cars all over the town centre you've got a pedestrianised area but it's very concise and you can get in your car right around the town centre itself Sheffield's about quite sprawling and We've now got a clean air zone, so commercial vehicles don't now have to pay to come in Sheffield. It's put everybody else off and it's killed all the smaller businesses. I mean, you use a van for some of the smaller businesses and they made it so expensive now. The taxi in Sheffield now is having to pay £3,650 a year just to trade on the clean air zone unless they pay for one of these new cars which they're then paying the money out again so my thing to lease people is resist them trying to bring any clean air zone in but I thought it's a nice angle to do lease from this side some of the older buildings you've got down here I also felt my other video on Leeds might not have captured everything so I've got a few more hours to kill before I get on the train so I'm just doing this for future and please if you're from Leeds please comment constructively I always accept all constructive comments but I always get the odd troll on I've got no time for the trolls. You can see the modern buildings being built around Leeds. But I am quite impressed with Leeds. No jealousy on my part as a Sheffielder. I got that accusation at Manchester. But I show the good, bad and ugly. And to be honest with you, yeah, there's a lot of modern buildings around Leeds, but I'm not actually focusing on that today because it's not in my face. I went to Manchester to film Deansgate because I don't like the high rises there, I don't want to see them in Sheffield. But I also filmed the beautiful red brick buildings in Manchester as well. And they've got a thriving town centre just like Leeds.
Is that the original name of the pub, Dog and Drake? I wonder if this is next to be removed because there was quite a bit like this in Manchester. It looked like it was going to get knocked down. But I don't know if Lee's town centre was much bigger in the past and what's happened is they've started to concise it down. So I think that's probably what had happened in Manchester. But there's some absolute beautiful arcades in Leeds. I absolutely love them. And that's the downside to Sheffield City Centre, that we've got no real indoor areas in Sheffield City Centre. Unless you actually get in a shop. We had a fantastic modern hole in the road, built in 1968 and they knocked it down in 94. It was something different, it was iconic, modern, and it gave us that feeling of being indoors and outdoors in our town centre, but our council decided to trash it and fill it back in. But loads of these boards around Leeds, you can't really get lost. Lots of cycle lanes, but I've not seen any cyclists. Well, there's one over there, that's the first one, that's one of these people delivering the pizzas. We're at Leeds Market Hall. I have done a separate video on that. So you can actually see inside Leeds Market Hall. As you can see, there's a Cherubs on it. Well, I reckon this building's been repurposed from the past. It looks like it's got antennas on top of it. All the way around it, it is. They just look like radio antennas to me, those. So it took me a while to get used to Lee's town centre. But it's very packed, packed in compared with Sheffield. It's a good old fashioned market hall, but like I said, I've got another video on that and I've already shown my camera in there once. There's absolutely loads of arcades and some of these arcades are joined together. The positive thing about today is when I bought my ticket two weeks ago to come to Leeds on the train, the forecast was good weather, but the recent forecast has been rain. Well, it's not raining, it's not rained all day and I doubt it will now. So the weather people got the weather wrong again. They can't get the weather right daily, never mind this uh, climate change gloom that we keep getting. Sorry. So you can see the modern sort of buildings down there. But some glorious old buildings and you can see the volume of people and it's probably warmed up a bit now it's not that windy either now but it's not a sunny day as such so I'm sure if it was a sunny day there would have been even more people out see these lovely red brick buildings everywhere well, that helps when you didn't get bombed in the Second World War and then you don't have a council that smashes everything down like they do in Sheffield. So we've got another indoor type shopping centre. 
It's like having your made a wall right in the middle of town, which is so much better. I find made a wall far too claustrophobic and I won't go in it. But some people want that and our council in Sheffield are only bothered about a university campus in our town centre. They're not bothered about the older folk getting in and out. Seascape down there. It's took me a while to get my bearings on Leeds. More modern buildings down there. As you can see. It's really just a flying visit. So you've got a big John Lewis there now, is that still open? Because I was closed in the second lockdown in Sheffield. So that's Eastgate and now I think we're moving on to the next road. Head row. I'll just show you quickly up there. Like I said, I've got a second video and I just wanted to capture a completely different angle on it to make sure I crisscrossed and got as much of Leeds town centre as I could. There's cars everywhere, folks in Sheffield wonder what's going off here. Buses, cars. Sheffield City Council don't like cars. But they won't provide us with a decent transport system either. Our super tram is absolutely useless. It only covers about 5% of the population. Probably 10% at the most. I've noticed shops that we've lost in Sheffield, you've still got. You've still got a big Argus. You've still got John Lewis. There's a wonderful variety of buildings here. I don't see many modern buildings in your town centre. See that you've kept the majority of your older buildings but blended in the new type buildings. So I'll just walk up here and show you the Cathedral. So you've got a cathedral and a minster in Leeds. You see the modern buildings are towering up. But they seem to be on the, your outskirts of your town centre. It's just in a camera through the gate. So the only people on bikes we've seen are Delivero people. I don't, I thought this was a cathedral, but I don't think it is. That must be another one. The 
sure I'll come across it again. Oh. But I want to show the folks back at home just what a thriving town centre is. This is like a big square where everything coming back on itself. I'm going to just nip up here to Town Hall. I've got a separate video on the Town Hall. But I'll give you a quick glimpse of it. See, it's just crisscrossed all the way down in like a big square with everything, as you can see there on that chart. But these are all around the town centre, it's a bit hard to get lost in Leeds. another indoor shopping centre. I find them too claustrophobic but I know other people like them. I'd much rather be outdoors and then go indoors to a shop. That's another one there, another indoor place. It took me a while to get my bearings on Leeds. It seemed bigger than it really was when I first started filming it. There's another place, the light, that had got a, oops, that had got a cinema in upstairs, the light. just having a chat with the police there saying it's great to see them patrolling because we just don't see them on the streets of Sheffield. Zero de deterrent. In Sheffield, I suppose it's see no evil here, see no evil. Here, no evil as far as they're concerned. So there you can see the town hall. There's a big screen around the bottom, so I filmed it on a separate video.
but I can't do close to the ground as I'd like to have done. But behind there, there's a fantastic old infirmary hospital building, and I've actually filmed that. Still a lot of churches around these city centre as well. I think I've done up there on an, on the previous video, so I'm not going to re-go up there. So I remember my days working for Midland Bank, and it used to, it used to be a Midland Bank on Park Road, and I could get down to this road without a map book. So we're now coming down Park Row. Hopefully I can show you the market area in the middle. As, it, as you see it's only the Delivero pizza people delivering and bikes that you see on these bike things. lower levels here, why are they building buildings so far down, look. Same down there as well. beautiful building. When I was in Manchester there's so many buildings on Whitton Street and Princess Street that look like this. It's miles of it just in those type of structures. Oops. Let's just have a quick zoom in here. So what's that all about? I can see some more across the top. I'm sure most of the Leeds buildings are safe from demolition, but you never know what's going to happen in the future. So we've got an old bank here, calling the pub must be called Beckett's Bank, it's a weather spoon again. So we have a slug and lettuce in Sheffield. Sorry if I repeat myself, I've got another video and I'll be saying some of the things in the other video, but like I said, I will have overlapped and got more on this video. So I don't know if that's the same branch as I used to come to on Park Row. Possibly is, looks like it. We might have had a new fascia on it. But since I did the previous video this morning, you see the difference in footfall, because I didn't, did that before 11 o'clock this morning. And the footfall's been increasing. But you can see that for yourself if you watch the other video. So 
So I don't know where the pinnacle is. Can anybody tell me without me looking up on the internet? That looks like another bank. Or the building that was repurposed for a bank. As I said, you can got these maps all the way around the town centre. It's like that in London. It's somewhat missing from my own city of Sheffield. People who don't know Sheffield. Don't know where they're going. <laughs> so I got the Unitarian Church here, which I think is the church that doesn't believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. Used to come into the Queen's Hotel for like discos back in the uh, 1990s. Was part of a social group, 18 plus, not 18 to 30s, 18 plus. And we used to have a nightlife all around Yorkshire. And I forgot that I used to come around these and places like that quite often back in the 90s. Just want to have a quick look at this old building here. As you can see, it becomes more modern when you get away from the town centre itself. So the train centre, train station's down there. I did notice that's really surrounded by modern buildings as you come in. And that's my big concern about Sheffield, Manchester and that where they're building all these massive new either flats or offices they're not very good architect architecturally let's have a quick walk around here I'll spin you back around there so this is Leeds City Square. But I mean, trying to drive in these places in a town that you don't know anymore. 
I used to drive around with a A to Z on me, me a lot of the time in the past. I know you do have the sat navs now. I'm always worried about entrapment cam cameras because it's all about revenue getting you doing something wrong so they can find you well, somehow I've got to get back in Leeds City Station for quarter to four I think but one thing somebody mentioned from Sheffield that there never seems to be any public conveniences anymore and wouldn't that put a lot of people off coming into town when you don't know where you can find a toilet I don't think there's a lot to see under there I think that's going to be more the modern area going out with flats back of the Queen's Hotel there and it does say ballroom just there, Queen's Ballroom. So this sort of train viaduct runs all the way through the back end of Leeds. And I've shown you the River Air, which I think would be further along, but behind here somewhere. But what do Leeds people think about your town centre? Am I here and thinking the grass is greener and it's absolutely fantastic or are you horrified like I am with Sheffield? Because you know how it used to be. Sometimes when you go somewhere else you see all the positive signs and you don't see all the negative you see back home until you've been there a while. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll walk along this road and stick my camera up a few of these alleyways. So I don't know if I've seen this church before. So I've never seen so many churches. But it shows you that a lot of people probably once lived in Lee City Centre. But Sheffield's had its old churches knocked out. We had a beautiful one called St Paul's in our Peace Gardens they knocked that down before the Second World War it's supposed to have been done for a extension to the town hall that never happened I suspect what they want to do is put a, an extension on like they've got at Manchester Manchester Town Hall's got this fantastic extension that was built in the 1930s and I would have said that that's probably what Sheffield was going to get but we never got it and then they turned it into our peace gardens which was beautiful for many years and then it's now a concrete jungle play park so we've got the banker's cat we've got the banker's draft in Sheffield And that might be a weather spoons. And it might not be. But 
the leaves are just getting busier and busier. And I'm told it's horrendous at night. My policeman, he was saying, there's a lot of trouble at night. I think the problem is there's too many drugs now and too many really powerful alcohol. You can just see the people are streaming in here. Not so much going to go up there, but you can just see that it's more like a modern bit of town centre up there. I don't know if I can just quickly zoom up for you. But there's in, indoor, outdoor, all over the place. In. Keep telling us in Sheffield that our city centre's decrepit because there's a meadow wall and online shopping, but I think Leeds has got the White Rose Centre. You've got so many sort of indoor shopping centres in the town centre. It would compete against any out of town shopping centre. shopping centre another church The problem is though with all the town centres, they've got all the same shops, Burger King, McDonald's, Nando's, all the names are the same, we've lost all our local names. been down here on my previous video so I'm not going to bother with that because I'm going to show you up here in a moment come back to that just the corner exchange your steer So I want to put my camera down in a minute and just have a chill out. So I've got the corn exchange there which I've got on a separate video. Have a quick look round corner. So 
we'll get across here because I just want to show you a few of these arcades up here. I know Wandering Turnip did at least one, I'm absolutely sure we didn't show it in a great light. Show that a lot of places were shut down. But I'm seeing loads of people. And yeah, you've got the odd building. But compared with my own city of Sheffield, this is absolutely thriving. see the uh, big modern bills all come in and this is what's looming over all our big cities I saw it first happening in London City and that's what we've got to watch out that they don't completely erase all our fantastic old buildings I've got no problem on knocking old buildings down as long as they build back even better buildings but we tend to have more and more boring soulless buildings when they rebuilt back you can see another indoor shopping centre and this is what we're so missing Sheffield these indoor areas arcades you've got them all over the police town centre It's a bit of building work in Leeds, but it's not an obstacle course like Sheffield. But it cost me £12.50 return from Kiverton to Leeds today so that's like 12 miles to south of Sheffield so it's worth jumping on the train to Leeds if you want a town centre that's still alive we do we send in our chief executive from Sheffield Kate Joseph, she's the lady who locked the country down and she's pretty much locked Sheffield down since she's come and I think there's a big driver to do something in Sheffield and that's why she's here so I think Sheffield could be the centre of the storm It's a warning to everybody everywhere else. Oh, that's the market all down there. Like I said, Leeds is really compact. You tend to be coming back on yourself all the time. You think it's massive. And you find out that it's just you're getting your bearings and so this is like the this is like a modern arcade as you can see but then just here you've got the county arcade I've actually done a, a shorty inside the county arcade, but let me just see if I can quickly. You can just see in it. It's absolutely wonderful in there, all marble. Beautiful ceiling. That with the that's the original that. I just want to try and just show you the one last bit and cut through it. There's a 
sort of an outdoor market area somewhere in this area and then I'll call it a day and wrap it up. There's arcades everywhere, there's a Queen's Arcade there. I didn't go to you. <laughs> they had so much character to these arcades, the town centres. But there's a good dynamic of people here. You've got actually older people here, whereas Sheffield is mainly students now. It made it virtually impossible for the older people to get into town. So if I'm right, to the left just up here, there's a market area, an outdoor market area. the second least tour. But my job I feel is to just document everywhere for future generations to show them where we were at. Post the lockdown. So that's another old church there. It's absolutely gorgeous that. Look at the wind on it. I just hear this like a market area outside. Pinnacles back up there. But I've missed the uh, cathedral on this one. I've, I'm sure I've got it on another one anyway, so. I'll just show you this last little bit of a crossroads here, and then I'll call it a day. But if you could like, if you could like my video, follow my page and click on notifications to get future videos. So it'll probably be London I'm going down to next. You can just see absolutely how thriving it is. Around Leeds. Just show you up there. Show you down there and I'll call that a day. That's the end of my video. Speak to you later.